Good day to all the foes and people of the world. I am your host, Sophorosa. <sighs> this rant is going to be a bit different. Not too long ago, a shooting, yes, another one of those, can you believe that? Has occurred at a game bar in Florida. Two merely innocent lives have been lost. Out of sheer respect as a gentleman, I was planning on having a prop, a weapon prop, to be specific, but out of respect, I do not plan on using it or having it in this video. We are here to pray, honor, and show respect. Do we have any idea why this guy started shooting with a real gun after he lost a game? Well, I, th I think you answered the question. Well, fuck that bitch. Pamela Joe Bondi, a 15-year-old attorney general for the state of Florida, has a history of, how shall we say it, flipping the coin? For example, during the sh from the shootings back at the gay bar in 2016 in Florida, can you believe it, uh, and she was given an interview where there was cuts and pieces where it was showing that she respected the LGBT community. Only not, only not too long ago after that, will she put into another interview stating that there are bits and pieces cut onto the editing floor, which tells me that no, she did not or something. I mean, what can you expect from a Republican? And during the same year, Oh my god, it gets even worse. She puts out a fraud, a tax fraud against Donald Trump himself for the Justice for All Foundation. But when no money was given to the foundation and puts blame on her, she goes, No, you don't understand. Trump and I, we are good friends. Bitch, please. And now... <sighs> What is your excuse for this one? You are here again addressing an issue that has been addressed over and over. And that issue is video game causes violence. Please explain that to me when the video game that supposedly caused this violence was Madden, a, how you humans play it, Football game, I believe it was. <sighs> Just so you people know that are not in Florida or have not really looked at the news lately, let me give you a small rundown. Over a weekend at the GLHF Game Bar in Jacksonville, Florida, it was sanctioned by EA for a Madden tournament. For those gamers who don't play it or know, Madden is a football game. That's pretty much all there to it. But all was going fine until all of a sudden one of the players, one of the champion player, got pissed off and started shooting after losing a game. Now, uh, two unfortunate individuals got killed. 27-year-old Taylor Robertson, aka Spot Me Please, and 22-year-old Elijah Clayton, also known as True Boy or True for Salt. Not bad. I respect that kind of name. They were both Madden champions. The shooter was David Katz. I believe he was in his 20s as well, like 22 or something, 24, I think. He's also a Madden champion, but apparently has one big ego where he thinks he is the best of the best and better than anyone out there. Apparently to him, that will stay true, because after killing two, Injuring 11, he then took the gun onto himself. I guess to prove a point, not in trouble, jail, I don't know. Reputation, it's hard to tell, but it's still just not one I will ever respect or appreciate. Now, you can all say, wow, it sounds like he's a sore loser. And that's where you and Pam would pretty much agree on this one. Do we have any idea 
why this guy started shooting with a real gun after he lost a game. Well, I, I think you answered the question. I want to be careful what I say about a pending investigation, of course, mm -hmm. but, but clearly he lost the game. And so did we. You lost the game. You lost the game. You lost the game. Oh, my God. Metro, stay out of this. You lost the game. <laughs> oh, he has not losing such precious. But dinner interviews aside has showed that one survivor actually went against him before David lost. All he showed was poor sportsmanship by just a glare or something, as he puts it. But no shooting has occurred until the day after. Hmm. I wonder what that says. Shot up the place. It seems like it was premeditated. I don't think it has anything to do with uh, him losing or who he lost to because uh, uh, he lost. He took. He lost twice throughout the tournament. I was actually one of the people that beat him. And there was another guy, uh, Bugs, who beat him. And I mean, we're both still here. So um, I felt like he was targeting, but I don't think it was the people that beat him. So. Yeah. Um, there were people there from really all over the country were in that pizza place. Um, no, it's a game bar. Emphasis on bar. It's just the same door as at a pizza place. But it's a different establishment altogether. I even looked at their website. They are different. They just share the same door. We'd love to go to there someday after all this clears away and the place can move on from this tragedy. I really got good drinks. Playing the game that day, it was something going on, you know, all over the country. But people were in that particular spot who weren't Floridians when yeah. this horrible, horrible outburst happened. You're really pushing on it, like you're trying to say Floridians are not about people. Now, granted, I myself am a Floridian, and not a bad person by my standards. I have my limits, like any fox does. But I have watched videos, and I have experienced and seen much, much worse, to where your possible claim is nothing. It can show itself. And, and this 24-year-old, uh, apparently a resident of uh, Baltimore, Maryland, and I understand the authorities have uh, searched his house, are in the process of searching his house as well. But, you know, uh, it, it was shocking because so many people play games like this, not very often or occasionally under one roof, but usually I believe something like this is played remotely where you could be sitting there in Florida playing with somebody in New York like me right now. Yes. Yes, and I, I have friends' kids who play different games, um, but all of these games, parents need to be really careful in general on all of these games. Hmm, if only there's a rating system that lets parents know the type of game it is, some sort of marking or ladder that indicates what's the proper age range for the kids who want to play it. Seriously, parents. If you have concerns on the type of games your kids are playing, read the damn rating instead of attacking or suing the company that releases them. And it's your fault, not theirs. Because predators can find you based on location services. I actually done some research on this location detection thingy and found that a lot of this is pretty much false. Due to it, first off, when it comes to location detection, they ask you if you want your location publicly or used for any kind of insight information. Simply refuse. You'll be fine. Just don't allow it. That's one problem solved right there for you. Secondly, I found nothing stating that indoor usage of a location detector is needed when you are playing a game. Now, granted, just like any other fox, I can be wrong by not thinking on online profiling that your location attached to it. But mainly from the information I've been finding, any location detection is mainly based on mobile games, such as this Pokemon Go. So please parents, any of these games these kids are playing, check location services. I know Minecraft, we've talked about that in the past. Minecraft. Minecraft. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> Minecraft! <laughs> that little game about blocks and mining! <laughs> you talked about this with a connection of violence! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but if what you're saying is true, then if I play Minecraft, I would want the tendency to go buy a tank and run it through a town, a city, something, just because I lost some diamond armor or got killed in the nether or something? Oh my god, that is setting the gaming bar way too low, my friend. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Um, I don't know about Fortnite, but they're playing all over the country. And the scary thing is, is they could find out where your 13-year-old is sitting at home playing that game. And vice versa. There's been reports where 13 and younger have hacked into older and adult systems and accounts before, such as WoW, Dota, any MMORPG games out there. So don't be saying that adults are the only ones that do this. Also, here's an article of one boy who was able to hack into FBI's database at 12 years old. That's right. So, so that's something very important, too, in general on all of these games. And if a parent can't figure out how to do it, ask your child who plays the game all the time. Right? Take me into settings and show me how to disable that. Oh, yes. Like a child nowadays are really going to be respectful enough to let the parents turn off their connections to their friends and groups. Out of your safety concerns. Hmm. How sweet. Foolish, but sweet. You do realize kids are getting less fucks nowadays about that. And they can just turn it back on. I mean, they're becoming younger hackers now. Child's play to them. Uh, Pam, let's talk exactly. a little bit about how uh, your attorney general's office does have a victim compensation fund available. And uh, we've put the phone number up right there, 800-226-6667. Oh, my God. The Dark Lord has set his number with them. I knew there was something a little politically off about this attorney general's. What Thank is you. that? Thank you. And that's run through my office. Mm -hmm. It's money allocated by our legislature. And it's um, an incredible fund. And what it does is it helps. Um, we can pay up to $7,500 for funeral expenses, um, medical bills, depending yeah. on the severity of the, the condition, sometimes up to $10,000, right. up to $5,000 for counseling for people who weren't physically injured. But people have already personally reached out to me um, um, hmm. <laughs> according to these expenses, where well, hospitalization is around, well, not finding much but using an interview from the Pulse shooting two years ago, they were quoted around $20,000. Therapy is around 200 plus per session, and funerals can be cost around 11000 plus on average. You really think your 75000 is really going to cut it all? And yes, people, I did some extra research on this. And even still, the costs are going to be high. Higher than 75000 can cover. And I know, it all depends on the base of the type of therapy you find, the type of hospitalization, medical expenses, and so on and so forth. But even then, you can't just assume that 75000 is going to be enough for all the damages that has been done. Hell, I would say some of that 75000 should go to that game bar. That one took the most damage. Thank God this is over. It really does piss me off, as well as Metro, that people will simply use a video game scapegoat rather than blaming it on the person or the true issue at hand. We can make the argument like a game of tennis, but the ball is in my court, my friends. And I still strongly stand that games are not at fault. It is the player. Links to my research are in the description. And if there's something I miss or might have done some misresearch or something, then please put them in the comments below. It's always good to learn more 
to be better yourself. Unlike Miss Ham. And with that being said, stay fluffy, ladies and gentlemen.